Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you are doing very well. So today it will be English class and we will talk about compare actions, plural nouns. So if you are ready, let's start to talk about adjectives and adverbs while comparing two actions or more than two actions. So adjectives are used to describe nouns. They can also be used to compare nouns. So you can see this page page 264 from your reader's notebook your big book so let's open the book and let's check the page together while comparing two things we are using er at the end of my adjective or adverb so while comparing more than two things i add est at the end of my adjective and adverb so let's talk about adverbs again same if I want to compare two things, I'll put ER at the end of my adverb. And if I want to compare more than two things, I need to put EST at the end of my adverb. For example, it say Ben is tall. You can see the picture here. Ben is tall. Ben is taller than Jack. In the second sentence, I just compare two people, Ben and Jack. So if there are just two people, in this situation, I can use taller than. I just add ER and if you see than, it means you compare two things, two people. So taller. The, uh, the third sentence, Ben is the tallest boy in the class. I compare Ben with the other boys in the class. So it means I compare more than two people. In this situation, I need to add EST at the end of my adjective. It will be same in my adverbs. So let's start to read the sentence together. Jan can jump high. Check the high and low. High represent up, low represent down. So in the second sentence, it say I can jump higher than Jan. I compare two people, myself and Jan. So I put ER at the end of my adverb. If I compare more than two people in the situation, I need to add EST. Cho can jump highest of all. I compare Cho with others. So if I compare more than two people in the situation, I need to add EST. Perfect. Let's make some exercise together. Please open page 264 from your reader's notebook, from your big book. So let's read the question together. Copy each sentence, fill in the blank with the correct form of the adjective or adverb in parentheses. It say the whale swam ahead of the other whales. So large is given to me. I need to put ER or EST. Perfect. I need to put EST. It will be largest. E already given in my adjective. So in this situation, I just need to put ST. It will be largest. Because when you check the first sentence, you cannot see then. Then represents I compare two people, two actions, but there is no done in the sentence. And I can see the. If you see the, it means I need to, I need to add est at the end of my adjective and adverb. So it will be the largest, the largest whale swam ahead of the other whales. Okay, if you are ready, let's read second sentence together. Mr. Brings sang, then the music teacher. So, soft is given to me. I compare two people, right? Mr. Briggs and the music teacher. And I can see then here after my adjective and adverb. So, if I see then here, I need to put ER at the end of my adjective and adverb. So, the, the sentence will be Mr. Briggs saying softer than the music teacher. Perfect. Let's read the third sentence together. This 
test is the we have had so far so heart is given to me as my adjective and adverb so this test is the I can see the if I see the here what should I do there is no then in this sentence so perfect I need to put est at the end of my adjective so it will be hardest this test is the hardest we have had so far perfect if you are ready let's move sentence 4 it say Abu ran of all the runners in the race I compare AB with other runners there are more than two runners so in this situation I'll put the fastest Abu ran the fastest of all the runners in the race perfect let's move right now we talk about adjectives and adverbs we will do more exercise about them while writing them what can I do so let's check adjective is given to me the blue fish is big the second sentence is say the white fish is bigger than the blue fish there are two kinds of fish here white and blue fish so I just compare two fishes here the other one is the gray fish is the biggest fish in the tank I compare gray fish with the other fish in this situation I compare more than two fishes so I need to put EST at the end of my adjective let's talk about adverbs how I can write it while comparing two things or more than two things it say that it's fast the second sentence say my sister eats faster than that in the second sentence I compare my sister with my dad so I compare two people because of this I need to add ER at the end of my adverb so in the third sentence mom eats the fastest in the family I compare my mom with the other family members so in this situation I compare more than two people I need to add EST don't forget to put the here because this is superlative actually so in the superlative if I put EST in the beginning it should be the okay if you are ready let's move the exercise Please open page 116 from your journey, from your small book. If you are ready, let's talk about that. It say, use the correct form of the adjective or adverb in parentheses, write the sentence. In the first sentence, it say, this aquarium is new than the one in Tarpon. So, in the sentence, new is given to me. And I have then here if I see then here and let's check my sentence this aquarium and the one in tarpon so I compare two aquarium in this problem in this sentence I need to put ER at the end of my adjective so it will be this aquarium is newer than the one in tarpon good job okay if you are ready let's check second sentence together let's read it first Tony got to the aquarium late than Katie so in this sentence I can see then if I can see then I compare two people here let's check my sentence I compare Tony and Katie it say Tony got to the aquarium later than Katie if I already E at the end of my adjective and adverb I just need to put R I don't need to put one more E here so it will be later later than Katie I just compare two people if you are ready let's read the third sentence together the jellyfish tank was the dark tank in the aquarium 
Check my sentence. I cannot say any then. There is no then. But I can say the. So after the, I need to add what? E S T. Perfect. And I compare more than two things. I compare jellyfish tank with the other tanks in the aquarium. So it will be the jellyfish tank was the darkest tank in the aquarium. Good job. If you are ready, let's read fourth sentence together. Katie stayed at the seahorse display long than at the other displays. So it say then here. If I see then here, it means I compare two things here. So I need to add just er at the end of my adjective. It will be Kate stay at the seahorse display longer than the other displays. So I'll put longer. Good job. Let's move. Okay, right now we talk about connect connecting to writing. How I can write my adjective and adverbs by using er and est. Right now we will talk about less common plurals. What does it mean? Remember irregular verbs. So it's kind of irregular verbs. It will be irregular plurals. How I can show it? Please open page 108 from your journey, from your small book. Perfect. If you are ready, let's talk about singular and plural nouns. Singular represent only one thing, only one object, only one person. Plural represent more than one thing, more than one object, more than one person. So it will be people. While talking about singular, I said person. While talking about plural, I said people. It's already changed. Irregular words. So let's talk about knife on your book. Knife is my singular. There is only one knife. A knife. But if there are more than one knife, I'll say knives. It will be changed. Knives. Instead of F, I'll put V here. So leaf remember leaf so if there is only one leaf i'll say leaf but if there are more than one leaf i'll write leaves perfect hoof so if there is only one hoof i'll write hoof if there are more than one so i'll use hooves perfect so if i just talking about one life my life for example i write my life but if i talking about our lives so it will be changed remember lives our lives their lives but this is just her life his life my life so if i talk about loaf so this is represent only one loaf but if I'm talking about more than one loaf, I'll use loaves. Check loaf and leaf here. Both of them finish with a f, a f. So in, instead of f, I put v e s. Instead of f, f will be drop, and I'll put v e s. Leaves and Loves when I make them plural. Okay, let's check my exercise. Same page, page 108 from your journey, from your small book. Let's read it. Read each sentence, choose the missing word from the box, write the word, then reread each complete sentence. So, what can I write? Read the first sentence together. The blacksmith put shoes on the horses. What? Perfect. It will be hooves. Good job. Okay. If you are ready, let's read second sentence together. Run for your 
The volcano is erupting. Guys, the volcano, remember lava, remember our science class. So, if you want to live, you need to run for your lives. Good job. Let's read third sentence together. Do you have any of wheat breads? If I'm talking about breads, I'm talking about also loaves. So it will be, do you have any loaves of wheat breads? Perfect. Let's read sentence four. It say, in autumn, the fall from the trees. Remember, what do trees have? Trees have leaves. So, in autumn, the leaves fall from the trees. Good. Okay, let's read sentence 5. Set the table with forks and spoons. What I'll use while eating something? I'm using also knives. Good job. So, we already finished this page. Perfect. Okay, during this class time, we talk about adjectives and adverbs while comparing two actions and while comparing more than two actions. And we learned how we can construct a sentence by using adjectives and adverbs in the situation to compare two actions and to compare more than two actions. And we learned less common plurals. For example, instead of knife, because it represents just one knife, I put nice. So, good job guys. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon.